Hello, I'm Bernard Norcamahaney. I work at the Bluford branch of the Kansas City Public Library. April is National Poetry Month. This April, uh, I am um, reading uh, speeches and monologues from Shakespeare's plays. Uh, today, I will be reading a, uh, a short speech by Richard III from Richard III. Um, at this point, <clears throat> uh, Richard uh, is determined to marry Anne of Neville, who was the who had been the wife of the son of Henry the Sixth, and Richard actually killed Henry the Sixth and uh, Edward, uh, the uh, the son of um, of Henry. Um, so Anne Neville is the widow of a man that Richard killed. Um, he is, he's already sort of wooed her. Uh, he's, he, he's, you know, um, spoken to her uh, and, and got her to sort of soften her position on him. And now he goes to Anne's mother to ask uh, her to uh, put in a good word for him. So this is the speech from Richard, uh, Richard to um, Anne, of, uh, Anne of Neville's mother. Um, you know, on his behalf. As I intend to prosper and repent, so thrive I in my dangerous affairs of hostile arms. Myself, myself confound. God and fortune bar me happy hours. Day yield me not thy light, nor night thy rest. Be opposite all planets of good luck to my proceedings. If with pure heart's love, immaculate devotion, holy thoughts, I tender not thy beauteous princely daughter. In her consists my happiness and thine. Without her follows to myself and thee, herself, the land, and many a Christian soul, death, desolation, ruin, and decay. It cannot be avoided but, but by this. It will not be avoided but by this. Therefore, dear mother, I must call you so. Be the attorney of my love to her. Plead what I will be, not what I have been, not my deserts, but what I will deserve. Urge the necessity in the state of times, and be not peevish fond in great designs. So here, Richard III, or uh, making his case to uh, Anne of Neville's mother uh, on why she should speak up for him on his behalf.